Hi, I am Caleb Langham. I'm a student at Bethany Global University and uh, I'm actually part of the LEAD media program. This morning we're going to be doing a, um, a live stream interview with Tarek down in South Asia. Um, just hear about uh, what his experience is like in a different culture. So I'm going to try to add him to this stream. Whoa. Hey. Hey man, how's it going? Hey how, you, hey, how you doing, man? What's up? I'm fantastic. Could you just introduce yourself and uh, kind of where you're at, real quick? I um I am currently a senior. Um, uh, as many of you guys know, at the university, um, my name is Tarek. I am from New York, and I am an intern, um, located in South Asia. Sweet man. Tell me a little bit about how your adjustment's going um, with transitioning into a different culture and all that. Um, there's a lot, man. There's a lot yeah. that goes into it. I, I've kind of just mean just being able to be here is just uh, patience. Patience is definitely a thing that I would that I'm going through and uh, still learning and still being taught. And um, just being able to have the patience, just to be able to integrate with the culture. It's not an easy process. It's um, it's really a step by step process, and there's there's a thing where we just get really excited just to be able to be here. But it's also like, okay, you know, what did I learn from my first year, my second year, and how can I apply it? It all comes back. It's amazing how it, the teaching has just been able to just encourage me in so many ways to kind of just be humble and to really just look and observe the culture and be able to see, uh, you know, what God sees. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm glad to hear it. Um. So what specifically do you find difficult about, you know, South Asian culture? Um, and then, and then also what um, you love about it. <laughs> that's a, that's an interesting question, you know, yeah. cause I always think about it. Like, it's just, I mean, it, there's difficulties to it. Um, definitely everybody's going to face difficulties. Uh, me personally, I've had uh, a lot of some health issues uh, for me, yeah. um, but I would, yeah, definitely, man. I found out that I can't have any glue in, and oh, wow. that means no more. That that means no more wheat. And that was like the day before, like the month before internship. Oh, and shoot. I was like, man, yeah. I was like, yeah. wow, this is a whole new life adjustment here. And um, what would you know that everybody here eat, eats wheat <laughs> on a daily basis? Uh, but um, I've been great. Yeah, right. I had a lot of um. Like, <laughs> I had a lot of discipline and um I got to I got to still enjoy it, but um it's always hard in a new culture to kind of um learn and adapt to the culture around you because it's really funny cuz you're coming from a culture where you know you you're coming from a place where it's really a small environment and you're learning about going into a culture and then we go into a culture there's some preconceived notions that people have about Americans that aren't true and you may have your own notions of what you know their culture is about and yeah. you have no idea what it's about. And uh, I think it's really interesting just to be able to kind of just sit down and just adapt to the surroundings around you and uh, still carry the love of Christ with you while you're there. So for me, it's yeah. just all about getting to know people. So for me, what I like about it is a time to actually um, do the things that we're trying to do. And I think anybody can say that it's just, you know, I don't want to just be sitting down and just, you know, on doing homework all day. I want to be out there. I want to be able to uh, get to know the people, get to know the culture. Right. Learning the language is another thing, man. Oh, man, if you only knew. It's just, yeah, how's that going? You know, man. <laughs> it's still going, man. Oh, yeah. I can say, um, let me see. Um, let me see. I'm trying to think of a, all right, I can say this. Um, yeah. Topai Konam Keho. And uh, what that means, that? what's your name, right? <laughs> mm. Nothing. Um and I can say well I can say a lot of phrases actually. I'm You're actually surprised cool. by how much I've learned. <laughs> yeah. Basic language. You need to know how to say someone's name, you know, if you want to actually talk to them. That's that's basic understanding right there. But um yeah. Oh, yeah. you know, You're some di different things. <laughs> so I could ask someone their name, you know, I could see a smile come up <laughs> their face. So um, <laughs> yeah. um but yeah, it's just um it's amazing to kind of just see like, you know, the process that God's bringing me through and you know, I've made um, some friends here, and um, God's been opening up a lot of doors. Um, first year in the 10 major, and uh, so many doors been opened up um, in the last couple of weeks and months and building up. Um, recently, I went up, and I went to uh, plant some coffee beans, and um, I'm from New York, so I don't, I don't do that. 
but it's it's fun to kind of just say that going out of your comfort zone you're able to see the grace of god yeah. and uh, yeah. i would say that's one of the most one of those most impactful things that kind of changed my life a little bit is just you know planting coffee beans i mean who could say that like you know it's it's a pretty cool thing but um you know just to see the heart yeah i know <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it comes from, I'm, I'm from a completely different background, you know, used to um, kind of a city lifestyle and you find, find myself thousands of miles away from home, <laughs> planting some beans in the ground. And you think to yourself, wow, where have God brought me? And, uh, you know, it yeah. just shows you the impact you can have for people. Honestly, man, it's amazing. Everybody goes yeah. to uh, my country. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, dude, that's awesome. Glad to hear it. So you said you're in the you're you're you did Tem um, at the university. Yeah, um, I would say uh, for Tem, uh, one of the things that I've learned uh, while being a part of the class is just understanding about um, being a part of a culture, and uh, it's not just about starting a business. It's not about just being an entrepreneur. I mean, that's, those are all great things. I mean, who doesn't want to start a business? Who doesn't want to you know? be an entrepreneur and um but it really separates um kind of the aspect of the wanting and you're now going into a, a bridge of mm. a need and the need of the people and um that's the one word i would stress importantly mm. about time is what makes it so different is that you're highlighting the need um of a people and what their needs are you know so much in the world we see businesses that are focused on our own needs and what we want and, you know i want to do business because i want some money of course people want money but What's the need that you're doing? What's, what is the service? What are you providing the people? And uh, it let me look into myself and um, just the people here and, you know, seeing the different problems that they have. And uh, we all have problems. And one of the greatest thing about having a problem is that you're, you can be a part of a solution. And uh, I think I see yeah. that a lot um, just being here, you know. I mean, like right now, like you have a cup in your hand and you're probably drinking what, tea or water? What is it? Yeah. It's Bengal spice tea. You say you're drinking some nice tea, man. That's some really oh, good yeah. tea. Now, hey, man, being in, in my country, <laughs> I mean, I'm more of a black tea man myself, you know. Okay. I but, got you. I mean, I, I got to get on to the spices. <laughs> Give me some tea when I come back. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll show you. <laughs> um, yeah. One of, the, one of the things I've noticed, like, just being here is just that um, the people here um, – uh, for example, like they have a, a shortage of water, you know, and if, I would not expect that, you know, something that we have as an everyday supply, you know, that we don't think twice about, you know, someone else is like, you know, I, you know, we don't think twice about the, what we have in the States, we can drink water, but here, you know, that's actually a thing they have to manage. Uh, wow. So it shows you a lot of the people and their needs. And I think for me, it was just, what can I do to kind of change that? And, you know, and what kind of, how can I model my business after the needs of the people in their hearts? Um, because it's not right. about making money. It's not about um, just having a business, just to have a business, but it's also about, you know, impacting people. And through that impact of people, you know, you can then change lives. And I think, um, I think we're all in the business of seeing people's lives be changed. So. Yeah. Amen, brother. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sweet. I need to get some of that team, man. I want a mug. I need a mug. Where I got a mug somewhere, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink this, man. Yeah, go for it. Love to. <laughs> just a just a little informal conversation, drinking some tea, just two brothers. <laughs> Love it. Um, drinking some tea. Yeah. Amen. That's how I like it. Um, question with with. Because you're talking about, you know, learning the culture and kind of learning language and stuff. Do you have, have, do you have any, like, stories of maybe awkward blunders you've had, whether it be culturally or uh, linguistically, you know? Yeah, my team will never let me live this down. Let me just tell okay. you, man. <laughs> Please do. See, I'm one of those people that I, I learn by a lots and lots of practice, and I get a lot of things wrong. And I'm okay with getting things wrong. I embrace it, man. If I'm going to screw nice. up, I'm going to screw up. So. It was like for a good month, um, we learned the word for showing respect for like the guys is, um, it's, uh, we call them die, you know, die. That means like a big brother. So, you know, anybody who's okay. an older uh, male, you would call them die, which is a big brother. It's a sign of respect. It's like showing honor, you know, like, you know, if I called you like Mr. Caleb, you know, it's like an honorific. Um, yeah. 
And there's another term for women where they call them Didi, you know, and that's a term for, you know, women um, that are older than you. Uh, so uh, for me, for a month, um, I guess I didn't learn um, the die part. It gets it just vanished into my mind and my brain and my subconscious. So for a good month, I was calling all the dudes big sister. <laughs> and, it, it, <laughs> and um I, I would say they heard this right and uh they said to me yeah. why are you calling him big sister and i said what do you mean i call this to all the shopkeepers man this is the way you're supposed to say it remember that one practice we did but that was a lady that was in that practice Tarek. and i was like oh <laughs> oh oh, oh. <laughs> Man, this, this makes so much clearer why everybody looked at me with a little bit of a, you know, a gleam in their eye. And I was like, oh, okay, this is, uh, this is, uh, <laughs> this is hurting some relationships. But, uh, you know, I corrected yeah. it within the first two months. And, uh, you know, I didn't make that mistake again. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Oh, man, that's rough. <laughs> I mean, yeah. honestly, the best way to learn is to get things wrong, though. <laughs> so at least you will never forget that. <laughs> Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. Another story I got is that um, yeah. there's a word, right? Because I, I like I like meat and I like chicken and um, people here don't really eat a lot of meat. Um, so there's a word in Nepali that means um, kukura. Kukura and you have kukur. So for a month, I would say, I, no, I still do it till today. Like I, I slipped up this week. You know, no shame about it. I did it. Okay. okay. Um, and I said, hey, I really want some dog instead of chicken. So um, that was fun. <laughs> no. I didn't get no dog. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't get me dog. Uh, yeah. Mm. A lot of dog yeah. over here, man. So, hey, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> you'll learn. You'll learn. <laughs> that's confusing, though. That's, that's, that's a pretty slight difference. <laughs> That's a funny difference, man. And it's so oh, yeah. easy. It's just the raw part, man. And, yeah. you know, I'll, I'll believe it to the day. You know, you never know. You can one day if someone comes up to you and just offers you a dog, like, honestly, I don't know what to do in that situation. I think I would just have to eat it. I wouldn't want <laughs> to, but, you know, I would, I would just, I would have to go with the flow, man. Just eat the dog, <laughs> man. Sometimes you just got to <laughs> You do what you got to do. Hey, man. I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't do that for like, you know, like uh, we still have that thing that we have like every year where we have uh, people come and visit like uh, campus review. Right. Yeah. So I'm just saying one day I'm just saying I'm not saying we should serve dog, but we should name it the same way and just get them to experience the culture changes just so <laughs> they know just in case, you know, you never know what you get. <laughs> Sometimes you might have to eat dog. That's just how internship is. <laughs> hey, listen, it's a reality. You gotta take yeah. one for the team, man. Yeah, gotta, yeah. This, this is the lowly house. You gotta eat the. You gotta eat the dog when you got to, man. <laughs> you what you mean? Got... <laughs> man, wow. Good to what know. if eating that... a dog was the only way you could get someone to be safe? Oh yeah, honestly, yeah. If that I was the it. only way. You gotta do it, man. You like take one for it. the team, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Totally, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Good to know, man. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> sometimes you got to do hard things to build that relationship. Yeah, that's one thing Dave Hawes hammered in us: do hard things. Yeah, do, hard do hard things. Hard thing. Amen, Dave Hawes. Thank you, sir. <laughs> speaking <Quote> of, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of like relationship building and such, how do you find you know? Uh, at this point, like building friendships with, you know, native people and building uh, relationships kind of in that capacity. Uh, um, building relationships is, is always a fun thing. Um, I would say it's really easy here because uh, the country that I'm at, it's a very collectivist culture, um, mm -hmm. which means, you know, they're very open, you know, go down the street, talk to someone, say that you're from like America, they'll just want to have tea and talk to you about their life. Um, really? So I've never encountered like really hard difficulty talking to people. Um, but there's an impersonal aspect to it as well, where, you know, you're still seen as an outsider. And um, that comes with just the journey of just going on internship is that, you know, you're not part of this culture, but you're seeking to be a part of it, you know, and you're not yeah. going to be a part of it the first month or the second month or even the fifth, sixth month, you know. Um, but 
what you have to understand is that you're letting the people around you see that you're willing to learn. And I think mm. when you show the willingness to learn and the willingness to love the p people and the culture and the language, let me tell you, language is a key part of it, man. Because you could come to any country that you want and, um, you know, not know the language and people look at you like, oh, okay, you're from America, you know, or you're from the Western world or, you know, but it takes a while. Like when you get the language, I mean, so many smiles I've seen for people that, you know, you just mentioned, you know, a, a simple word or simple phrase, you know, they're just yeah. smiles because it showed that you appreciate the language and you appreciate what they can bring to the table. It's all about showing compassion for people. Mm, yeah, that's solid. hundred percent. Thanks. So, so with, with this that you're doing now, how do you feel this um, work that you're doing is preparing you for maybe work you want to do in the future? Oh man, there's a lot. There's a lot. Yeah. That's a loaded question, man. You got For some sure. really good questions. <laughs> you maybe pick You're a couple things. You over there. Man. <laughs> and shout out to uh, Dan Sanchez. <laughs> and um, um, and everybody else that's over there that's doing the whole uh, page. Um, but uh, definitely, I would say uh, some of the work that I've, I've been doing um, currently right now, um, I would say getting to know people is definitely a thing going learning to be a part of a culture is a thing that you can take with you in any other country that you go to, mm -hmm. you know, this is basically the groundwork for a uh, long-term, a long-term game. If you want to go out and uh, be on the field and um, be a worker, you know, you're going to be set, you know, you're going to have to be set to go and be ready to be a part of that culture and know what that means. I think um, there are a lot of strengths for short-term work and there's a lot of strengths for long-term work, but, going through internship prepares you for both. I think I'm appreciative for that aspect. So even after I have the groundwork to actually succeed and have the groundwork to actually, you know, say that, oh, I know how to be a part of a culture. Oh, I know exactly, you know, what I have to look for for collectivist culture or individualistic culture and um, how do I be a part of, you know, a, a work that's going on here and how do I be a part of a culture or how do I talk to people or how do I understand um, the differences between uh, class and the caste system, if that's a thing. So it's all really about, uh, again, it goes back to being patient and being uh, watchful about it. For me, I can say that um, with the TEM, um, it's been really good for me um, because, oh, can you hear me? You look like you're cutting out, man. Your face just froze. All right, I can hear you. All right, I'll keep talking then. <laughs> all right, cool. Um, I would say... Uh, for me, like, I, I've been um, doing some uh, media work myself uh, when it comes to, like, doing videos and stuff like that. I know you into the videos and the media as well, man. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. Um, so I have some people um, that I've been contacting, you know, some people that uh, are from, you know, that are, uh, that's not necessarily Christian, but, like, they're willing to do some, uh, give me some work just to kind of just do some media work for them. Um, so I've been super busy with just doing that aspect of it. And uh, yeah. I think even growing up, like a, a list of people around here where I can just talk to about certain aspects of what I, what their needs are and just helping them, you know, wanting to uh, pursue something in their business. So mm. I think um, honestly, anything, anything that um, currently right now, I think the most, the most that I got out of this is just being able to understand the people and the culture and learning to take mm. the patience and, uh, you know, to really learn it and to go forward, man. It's all yeah. about going forward, you know. And I think this this is a great program to kind of just, it gets you started, man. It gets you started. Sweet, yeah. Yeah, you'd say it's like really intentionally designed so that you can, you know, use the skills that you're learning there for learning a culture, learning a language, learning how to make relationships. Just, it, it's very intentional to be able to like apply those wherever else you might go, right? Yeah, definitely, man. It's all about that, man. So, like, honestly, three, four, five years from now, you know, you can always, you can see someone going out on the field, or you can, I can imagine myself being on the field, honestly, um, going out there and still understanding because of the groundwork that I have put into um, this program. Mm -hmm. So, it's definitely a lot of um, intentionality uh, about it, and um, I like it a lot. And I think everybody who's listening and hearing this will love it, too. Free advertisement right here, right now. Yeah, sick. That's, that's the goal. <laughs> awesome. Call all your friends. <laughs> yes. Yeah, totally. Well, Tarek, thank you. It's been awesome talking with you. I've had a lot of fun. All of you guys, thank you for watching, you know.
And I can't wait to see you too, Caleb, and everybody else that's listening. You know, hopefully you'll see me on campus and we'll we'll get some tea. We'll get some tea. Absolutely. Let's let's get some tea when you get back. All right. Awesome. Great to see you, man. Right. See you later. All right. Great to see you. Peace. Bye. All right, guys. That was our interview with Tarek in South Asia. I hope that was enlightening to you um, and helpful with all the information that he gave. It was really awesome to talk to him. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you all later.